video this is ife of ife360 tv and today i'm going to talk about the broke girl guide to natural hair now i've gotten this question from someone on my channel it was actually a requested video hit subscribe if you are new to my channel if you've been watching for a while and you never subscribe why not I also have a vlog channel if you want to know about my life in China, what it's like living there and teaching in China as well, check it out, e through 6 day vlogs and I'll leave a link below so you can go to that channel, okay? Alright, so if I was broke, if I was just starting natural hair and I didn't know what to do or where to start, six things that I would tell you to get and that's all you need for your hair, I'm telling you, all you need for your hair one of these days i will do i will show you all that is all i will use you you will see you will see but in the meantime this broke girl's guide this is for you girl so the first thing that i would have in my arsenal would be the fenugreek seeds now that's a game changer i love for a lot of you because that fenugreek seeds you could turn it into so many things you can you can soak them use your water to turn it into a spritz to moisturize your hair and reduce hair shedding so that's the first thing i would do get fenugreek seeds fenugreek seeds also called methi or mathi or methi different names the point is you can take these seeds and sprout them after you soak them you use them internally if it's want to use them health wise i know you talked about your hair but i'm just telling you the fenugreek seeds you can turn them into so many things after you soak them you can blend them and add some banana to it and make it into a deep conditioner fenugreek seeds is one of those multi-purpose seeds that you can have so that's the first thing i will add to your regimen if you have if you are i wouldn't say broke but you don't have the financial means to have tons of products and as i said natural hair is not expensive having youtube or watching too much youtube channels or would make you think that you need a lot of things but you don't the second thing i would tell you to get is to get shea butter shea butter is also one of those things that you know what you don't need those fancy butters out there in fact you can whip your own butter whip it up real good with your own oils you can whip it up make it light and fluffy for yourself and use it in your hair to seal in all that moisture that you've gotten from that fenugreek spritz you know your fenugreek spritz you have your shea butter we roll in we're doing good so far right and then you might want to get a leave-in conditioner for years i did not use a leave-in conditioner and my hair did thrive all i used was spritz it with water and shea butter and my hair was like bam i'll grow for you girl it's no problem so if you wish you can have a third thing. You can add a leave-in conditioner to your stash. Choose one for yourself. Go forth. Multiply your stress. The next thing I would do is make a hot oil treatment. Now this is probably where it's going to get a little bit more pricey, but not too pricey because I don't want you to overdo it. So get some simple oils. Maybe some olive oil, you know. If coconut oil, you're allergic to that, skip that. If you're not, some coconut oil. You know, maybe a little grapeseed oil or almond oil. If you all have a favorite oil down there that you must have, post in the comments below remember we talked about that fenugreek seeds now you can take those same fenugreek seeds infuse that in your oils and now you now have a super oil an oil that you can take and use as your growth oil because fenugreek has many growth benefits so now look at how we're building our stash it's not expensive so far as far as i've realized okay so now you can take those oils and make it into hot oil treatment so those hot oil treatments, your hair is gonna be lush. It's gonna be moisturized. It's gonna be, it's gonna be popping. Your curls are gonna be like, bam. It's what I've been needing all this time. And it didn't cost a lot to get it. You know, you didn't have to go to a salon to get it. You didn't have to use any fancy product. Hot oil treatments, do it overnight. Next day, wash it out with some conditioner. And then you're good to go. You will see your hair transform very quickly. Within a couple months, you're gonna see your hair change completely all right so then there's that then you're gonna need a flaxseed gel no you don't have to have flaxseed as i said i didn't even use flaxseed for a very long time i think it was natural 85 and i was like hey flaxseed now i know about you i can try you but before that i didn't use it you don't necessarily have to use it but it's a little added bonus now if you watch my video on how i moisturize dry hair and uh, people who have tried this video and tried my method they always message me as like e Hey, ever since I tried your method, my curls be popping, my hair be moisturized all week long. 
because it works okay so you layer on your flaxseed you layer on your this is your hair you layer on your flaxseed on damp hair then you put on your leave-in conditioner remember i said whatever brand and then you layer on your shea butter bam moisturized hair for cheap and then the final thing i hope i haven't i hope i haven't miscounted I lost track. The final thing you would need is a conditioner. Now the conditioner can be any conditioner to wash your hair, but I'm gonna show you one that I use right now. Now this is the conditioner that I use, Suave Naturals conditioner to wash my hair. Bam, there it is. This one is the daily clarifying conditioner. It works pretty well. My hair don't be dry. I wish my neighbors would shut up so that I can film this video. And there you have it. How many things? Let me count them. Six things that I would tell you to incorporate into your arsenal of hair products. And is it, is it expensive? I don't think so. Can you afford them all? I believe so. Can you keep it up? Of course. Will your hair grow? Absolutely. As long as you're gentle with your hair and you give it some TLC. So let's go through them again. Fenugreek seeds your shea butter, a few oils for your hot oil treat ones. You're gonna get a leave-in conditioner, some flaxseed gel, and a conditioner to wash your hair. Six things that you can use and you can have and not break the bank. Y'all, if there's anything that I have left out in this list, let me know. Is there something that you think that I should have added? Tell me what would be in your list of things in your broke girl's guide to natural hair. Let me know in the comments below. If if you like this video hit subscribe and hit that like button because I love you for it and I will love you for it yeah mm -hmm. see you in the next one ciao